Hi, and welcome back to Pastiche at Play. This is Zombie Armageddon. Check it out, folks. It is a zombie survival game. I've been playing it for a little while now through a couple of betas, and now we are presenting, well, I'm not we, me, I. The developers actually want people to check it out online, so I'm doing a little let's play on it now. At the moment, I'm just buying in some weapons and ammo. You can see that it actually uses an in-game currency, but... Yeah, of course, it has in-game purchases whenever it does get released. I'm just testing it out here, so the coin packs don't have any value. They just load money back into your game. Grab a few of those. So buying multiple clips is a little bit of a pain. The ammo comes in singles, and it's not single weapons, but... Uh, Ammo loads. I'm probably going to get surrounded by zombies if I don't move now. Yep, see, there we go. <laughs> because the game doesn't truly pause in your um, in your menu screen, and zombies will just start spawning and more and more of them. Uh, let's see. Essentially, it's time for me to mow down some zombies. See how quickly it runs out. So I'm going to switch weapons here. Someone that's a little bit of a slower rate of fire. So the pistol is really the fastest and best weapon. It's got a nice uh, click reload time. So you can pop off a couple of headshots and keep your survivors safe. But the, um, the other weapons, they have a nice rapid fire for hitting crowds. But headshots seem to be the only thing. So you really got to be careful whenever you're shooting off that you don't leave yourself short on ammo so the assault rifle with the burst is actually quite good as well shotgun mm, it's, it's probably pretty decent and powerful but it doesn't seem it still seems to need a headshot to really work properly so i don't think the spread's really set up right on that and down he goes see we only have to hit him with one see if the ammo so i'm um, wandering around now to show off the food and water setup you can see that i'm actually all out of food and water and i am essentially losing health because of it but what i can do as soon as i run down here and get away from enough zombies and get all of it oh there we go perfect uh that's exactly what i want i want to drop off some guys so i'm going to run down here to the hospital it should be safe here mm. get out of the way Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, I thought that was a bin. I thought that was a crate. Boo. Right, pop in here into the hospital. Keep myself safe. Set the circles a safe zone, I hope, while I grab out of my inventory. So, yeah, just jump down here, and I have one of those. So, bam, health up. Again, you have to keep going back into the inventory for your items I need to grab one of those and it gives me about half health okay and that means I'll probably grab a larger one just to give this boom use that's my water up full sweet so time for me to show off some of the more interesting tools turret Let's see where that can go. Okay. Right, where? No, my turret to my turret like spawn out and disappear? No, that sucks. Clear some of you. Alright. I essentially need to get my turret set up here. Because that way I can leave that to be defended. Bye. Use. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. <clears throat> so if I can drop out a couple of these turrets, they actually will stand defense for me in front of these little points. Which is pretty nice. Just going to grab this one here. 
Boom. Oh, zombies. Die. Yeah, why the hell is that not shooting? Hmm. Yeah, um... Yeah. Are they coming within range? There you go. So you guys work away there, turrets. You can see they actually kind of pop off a few shots. So while they're actually working away there, I can buy some more ammo. So I really think the turrets are a good choice to actually have a little bit of currency to set aside for or one in your stock. So you can just put it down while you buy other items. It seems to be a, a pro tip. It gives you a good defense. It allows you to defend a point as well if you're playing a multiplayer to bring somebody else back. So I have one of those in the side. Just because I know I'm going to run out of food and water. So keep it going. Oh yeah, you also have these. You actually have walls, well, doors, and chest high walls. I'm going to grab these and drop them in. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and grab a spot that actually be decent. I'll put a wall up here, I suppose. Is that one? Yeah, see? And if I step around here. Ah, get out of the way, survivors. I need to take you to the college or something, I suppose. Let's see. Mm hmm. Use the other wall. You can essentially block yourself off. And I think it's probably because I'm so close to the um, circle point, it's not really giving me a better option for dropping that. I'm sure I could reposition it if need be. And of course, give the door we try as well. So that's more of like a multiplayer defense wall. <laughs> you can just say, imagine if you're playing against, playing with other people, you can probably juke behind this for a shield, I suppose. I am a terrible shot. Thank you very much, Turnt. Okay, so I'm going to take a wee wander down here to the college. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I missed out on all student there. Oh, perfect. Wow. That's a lot of zombies. Don't like these reapers, the way they kind of move. Okay, so that's them all out of the way. Um, all of those survivors that were standing out there, I apologize previously. Woohoo! I got stuff. Excellent. So that was actually an example of the crates. They do spawn in, um, of course, kind of not as often enough as you may need if you're trying to survive. But uh, yeah, I think we're probably going to sign off to this level probably shortly. Because you know what? That is a beautiful view. Look at that skyline, folks. The city at night, the red light glinting off of the zombies' eyes. This feels like home. 